RJ and I are trying to decide what does vodka or gin mean? If you drink vodka or gin, what does that mean? You're health conscious? No. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. What's up, my high squad? We're working out this morning with Raquel and Ed Mark there. This is gonna be a killer. Yes! Is it good? Yeah. We just got started. <laughs> Cypher's like, Daddy, why are you breathing so hard? <laughs> OMG guys, end of workout. That was hard. Uh, yeah, hey guys, the new Ant Canada video that we uploaded two days ago is trending. It's number 25. Last week's episode on Ant Canada also trended at number 25. Yay, I'm so happy about this. So happy you guys like this in video in particular is trending in US. I appreciate that the AC family, that's the name of the community on the Ant Canada channel. Any AC family out there? Do any of you guys watch that channel? Represent in the comments. It means a lot to me that they really like enjoy the content because I thoroughly enjoy creating the Ant Canada videos, um, especially the most recent ones. This episode is popular the waters of my new avatar floating mountains paludarium you guys should go check it out just beautiful you'll also see my new fish and shrimp Ooh, thank you guys so much yay so guys it's a wine night for RJ and I and also RJ's filming a TikTok video or he finished a TikTok yeah. video look at the setup olives cheese chocolate almonds grapes mmm this is gonna be delicious and guys there's a little story about this do you guys remember our Japan vlog this here is the wine um, that we bought from prefecture called oh, what was it called? Yeah, I forgot too. Oh my gosh! Anyways, yeah, can't remember. Up. They're famous for their wine, and um, this wine here was the Yamanashi. wine we bought. Yamanashi, the prefecture of Yamanashi, and this wine supposedly is the wine they served to Donald Trump <laughs> when he went to Japan. So we're like, okay, let's buy it. It was expensive, a couple hundred dollars, and we decided we'd save it for the Mabu High Squad farm housewarming, mm -hmm. right? Um, but our used it as a prop for his TikTok because we are not opening this still. It's just gonna be in the fridge. We can't just keep it like in a cupboard somewhere because the Philippines is hot and it'll spoil the, I don't know, somehow it'll spoil the flavor of the wine. But the wine we did pour is cheaper wine. <laughs> Yellowtail, which we also love anyways. So yay, and look at how pretty the scape is, guys. So nice. Ooh, and it's right by the window, guys. You can see the beautiful lights outside. What a gorgeous, gorgeous Metro Manila skyline. See that? Cypher's jealous. He wants to come. Okay, hold on. Cheers, Mabu High Squad. Yes, to wine. Chill night. Chill night, yeah. How are you guys doing today? Did you guys have a good day or is your day just starting? We're reaching the end of our day now. Here's some olives. Let's try olives. That's olive oil. Mmm. Olives and olive oil. And it's stuffed with peppers. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, are olives healthy? I think they are, right? Next, almonds. Super healthy. Oh my gosh, guys. One of the best cheeses ever. Bel Prado cheese. Oh my gosh. You guys will try this. You guys will be mind blown by this cheese. It's so good. Mmm, just so flavorful. Mm. I always grind it up in my Korean noodles. <laughs> my spicy Korean noodles. The thing I'm eating next, Cypher, you have to go because it's poisonous for you. Chocolate. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's a little dark. It's milk chocolate, but it's like darker milk chocolate, so you can kind of taste the bitter. Mmm. No sugar. So guys, are any of you guys wine drinkers out there? I first learned to drink wine. <laughs> learned. Yeah, I learned to drink wine in my mid-20s, I believe. Mid to like late 20s. I had a lot of older friends in my mid-20s, like seniors. <laughs> I hung out with a lot of seniors when I was 25 because I just felt like the company of... I mean, I had friends that were around my age and younger, but I really thoroughly enjoyed hanging out with more elder friends because I felt like conversation was much more interesting and 
I don't know, like, I always learn stuff around them. And one of the things I learned was how to drink wine. The wine we're drinking right now is Yellowtail. And this is actually the brand of wine that I first learned to drink. However, this one's a Cab, a Cabernet Sauvignon. I didn't learn to drink this one. I learned to drink Yellowtail Shiraz. So every night we would hang out and do a setup like this and just talk. And also my friends, my elder friends, were musicians. So OMG, can you imagine the blast we had on some nights drinking wine? Just so fun. <clears throat> So if any of you guys out there want to start getting into wines, personally for me, I love Yellowtail. Shiraz though. It's like a yellow label. Um, this one's from Australia. Yellowtail. As in like kangaroo. <laughs> I guess that's why they call it. Taste is good, and I don't know. It was a good training wheels for wine for me. And it's affordable. And it's affordable too, correct. It's not like super duper expensive. Cheers, guys. Ooh. RJ, what did you have to say? Wine signifies sophistication. Oh, does it? Yeah, I guess. Correct, yeah. Wine is a sophisticated drink. RJ says, whiskey, power. Um, <laughs> whiskey symbolizes power. Beer, being cool, being awesome. Beer, being cool <laughs> and awesome. I like that. RJ and I are trying to decide what does vodka or gin mean? If you drink vodka or gin, what does that mean? Your health conscious? So one of the things we also learned when we were in the winery at Yamanashi, Japan was wine food. I was like, okay, so first of all, what are you supposed to eat with Japanese wine? And right, the lady said anything they would eat in Japan. Sushi, fish, that kind of thing, right? And then I was like, oh, okay, so why do people eat this kind of stuff for wine? Like, where did this originate? You know, figs and that kind of thing, cheeses, chocolates. And then you know what she revealed to us? She said it's because a lot of wines for for example are from Europe and what would Europeans eat they would eat this kind of stuff so this is how it kind of like came to be so we learned that basically any food that the local I guess people of the culture of your wine eat is suitable wine food so I guess technically with yellowtail we should be eating what do they eat in Australia what do you guys eat in Australia again um, Kangaroo, delicious. We've had that before. But, but not everyone eats that. Not everyone eats that. Kangaroo sausage, mmm. And oh, what's that delicious spread that's so Vegemite. hot? Vegemite. Vegemite. Vegemite crackers and like, yeah, we love Vegemite. Crackers and cream cheese. That's what we should be eating right now with this yellow tail. So that means if we're drinking a Filipino wine, are there Philippine wines? No, we have. We do, right? From a winery? Like grapes? Yeah, oh, wow. Wine. Okay, we need to get a bottle of that. If we were to be drinking Filipino wine, we would be eating what? Pulutan. Like... Chicharron. Chicharron, correct. Corn bits. Uh, oh, what's that stuff you like to eat with vinegar? Ding dong. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oi bawang, that's the that would be Filipino wine food. <laughs> and then fruits, so lanzones, dragon fruit, things like that. Coconut, queso de bola. Cipher is quite hyper now. He's usually hyper at this hour. Sleeps a lot during the day, and then <laughs> in the night he goes crazy. He's in a playful mood. For all of you wine drinkers, what did you start to drink when you first started drinking wine? Was there a special particular brand? Let us know in the comments. We'd like to try it. So guys, yet again, my tank needs a crazy haircut. I feel like just last week or so, I had given this tank a haircut. And look at it now. And guys, check this out. The plants are doing so well that this Amazon fern is soon going to extend out the top of the tank. And it does this every year. So what's going to happen? Are the, the plants are going to come out and hang off the side of the tank at the front then the Amazon sword is going to send out a shoot and it'll have flowers and those flowers will become baby Amazon ferns and I took one of those baby Amazon ferns and I planted it in here and this is it now so I'm gonna get this is like second generation Amazon fern I'm gonna get the baby of this and then I'm gonna plant it maybe on the other side and by next year it will totally be completely out of the tank and hang off the side the circle of life my plants are are going up way too fast okay guys let's see what the positive affirmation of the day is for monday september the 7th i am centered and focused i feel more secure each day Ooh, love this especially in this current climate of the world it's <laughs> i've needed this positive affirmation many times this year hope you guys enjoy it All right, 
The guy flew on my shoulder because she wants some snuggles. You want snuggles? Before bed? You have to go to bed soon. She rests her beak on my cheek while I scratch. Such a sweet bird, the guy's eat. Seriously. She had her medicine already. I gave her her meds. Yeah, you've been a good girl today. You ate all your food. Anyways, guys, Mabuhai squad. I'm also gonna have my pre-bedtime snack. My addiction, guys. Korean noodles. I am just so addicted to it. But I'm going to say goodnight to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this vlog, be sure to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button to join the Mabuhai squad. We will be your daily dose positive vibes online. And guys, leave a comment because now we have what's called the Mabuhai Squad comment of the day where we'll just pick any three comments from you guys and then we'll post it on the vlog the following day. The three winners, all right? And thank you guys so much for watching and joining us today. Mm, love you. Bye. Say bye, Mabuhai Squad. Say bye. Good night, Mabuhai Squad, she says. <laughs>